TA20 to the left and the Warrior Nano to the right. Okay, TA20, Warrior Nano, TA20, Warrior Nano. And straight off the bat, you can see here with the, the TA20, it's able to reach those trees out the back with a lot more ease just due to that larger reflector compared to the Warrior Nano. Okay. I do find that the Warrior Nano also has some additional spill. Okay, definitely a lot more spill closer up compared to the TA20. Can you see that? Look. You can see the edges of the TA20. And that's because the TA20 has a larger reflector focusing a lot of that light up into the distance, whereas the Warrior Nano basically basically just has a small TIR lens in it but look at that you still get a nice large hotspot so it's really hard to say exactly which one I prefer to hold on I mean it just depends on whether you want that extra throw a little bit extra throw see look at that TA20 Warrior Nano definitely throws noticeably further but the TA20 is probably the more balanced beam you know you can see more into your peripherals it distributes that light more evenly but still with a very large hotspot but I'd say the Warrior Nano is more to sort of short to medium range okay short to medium range whereas the TA20 is handling that mid-range mark very comfortably Both of them are starting to step down now, especially the Warrior Nano. Okay. TA20, Warrior Nano, TA20, Warrior Nano, 